Right, so what we're going to look at today is one of those infuriating moments where you have, let's say, this keyboard of Microsoft uh, Sculpt together with this mouse combo of, of some kind of thing, and you have a USB receiver that has got a bit of a bang and it stops working. So you've invested $130 and that's dead as a dodo right now. So I'm gonna show you a quick way of fixing it using this tiny screw, flat screwdriver um, I got on eBay for almost nothing. Um, and that's it, I'm gonna show you a quick fix. Just one quick note. Um, it is important to know that if you have a Logitech device, usually a lot of them come with a direct Bluetooth connection to your computer and you don't need these daft USB receivers. And if you are fortunate enough to have a Logitech device, even if it hasn't got a Bluetooth connection, you can actually order a unified receiver. But if you're stuck with Microsoft like me, let me show you how to fix it. Right, so the first thing we want to do is basically um, free our little um, receiver inside by just taking the screwdriver and lifting uh, these little metal slats. Right, so we're just going to lift them up. Once they're all lifted, this should come out easily. Ooh, there we go. Now, once you have the transceiver in hand, um, what you actually want to do is you want to bake it because um, when this transceiver was originally manufactured, it was baked. That is the, the stage in the process of manufacturing it where um, the solder is melted and uh, basically the whole device is sort of meld together. Uh, and when it gets a bang, usually something very small disconnects or has a bit of a connectivity problem, which is why uh, your device isn't being recognized by Windows or you're sort of having these glitches where the mouse isn't actually working properly. And when you bake it again, um, those small places where um, basically the bang has disconnected something, it's all meld together now and it will work amazingly well. So you, it's better to use a toaster oven um, since when you're going to do this process of baking the transceiver, these toxic fumes are going to be released um, and you don't want them to stay there after you make food. Um, so even if you do use an oven, make sure you, uh, you take out all the fumes with the fan or something afterwards. Um, and if you're using a toaster oven, that's even preferably. Now you want to put it on a little piece of tin foil since it is going to melt a little. Um, and you should heat it up for 180 degrees Celsius, 260 degrees Fahrenheit, and leave it there between three to five minutes. Um, the moment you start smelling that smell of burnt metal, that's pretty much um, says it, it's ready, it's done. Don't leave it in for too long and stand by the toaster oven to make sure you're not burning um, anything. Uh, and that's it, you just turn it off and then we just, or enter it in and you'll see that it will work amazingly well. And even if it burns there a little at the edge, for example, uh, you can see it on my transceiver, um, usually that's just like the piece of the edge that doesn't really matter. And this still works really, really well. I'll insert it now and show you. Once we've done that, we're going to um, want to put some um, solder tape on this to, basically what we're trying to do is prop this up. So these, um, right, these metal connections will actually touch the ones inside the USB port. Right, so I've cut these two pieces of scotch tape. Now, one of them we're just going to put on the edge over here. Okay, now once we've done this, um, you just insert it in the port, you hold the transceiver down, tilt it a little and just gently insert it in. There. Now, the moment you've heard that it's connected, we can now enter into the, um, the Bluetooth by just clicking the Bluetooth icon twice. 
you can now see all the different devices connected and we can see we have a Microsoft wireless transceiver. Um, so first of all, the mouse is working very well. Um, hopefully also the scrolling is working wonderful and typing is working just fine. 